Hey guys, so I'm definitely not feeling 100% today, but I wanted to get some filming done because it's been a while and I just feel like I need to get back to it. Um, I have been resting a lot um, and I, had, I was in bed all morning um, and I'm starting to feel a little bit better um, towards the afternoon. So I was like, why not get a video done? Um, and then just edit it later. <laughs> but um, yes, this video is on Wednesday instead of Monday because of me being sick. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoy it. It's another Timu video. And as always, if you're interested in purchasing anything that you see in this video, all the links will be provided in the description box down below, as well as if you have not signed up for Timu yet and you would like to, there is a link in the description in the description box that you can click on sign up get a hundred dollar coupon bundle um uh, but let's get into this so um there are 20 items i believe here and this is another crafting supplies haul as always i'm going to dump the bag um, and I'm actually going to start with this because the bag ripped and it's open and it's all over the place. And yeah, so this was 77 cents and it is a group of 10 of these. Um, they're like black lanyard, like string, um, chains for necklaces. And I got these for, cause I make charms and whatnot. And I did use one in that pickle earring and necklace set that I made, but um, also for other charms that I decided to make and whatnot into necklaces. So I have, um, I got a pack of 10 before and I got another pack because they were a good deal. I mean, 77 cents for 10, that is a great deal. And um, so this part is like a string, but it's like a really durable, um, I don't know, like woven string. It's really durable. And then on the ends, it's got this kind of claw clip and then an adjuster. So, um, you can adjust the length of your necklace, whether you want it shorter or longer, um, all that kind of good stuff. So these are really nice and... Yeah, for under a dollar for 10, that is a great price. Then I got a pack of these. Okay, so as you may know, I have a sublimation printer now. I do not have it set up yet. I need to do that. This week, I was actually planning on going and getting a table to set up my printer and my oven. Um, and then I got sick. So... <laughs> gonna have to wait till I'm a little better. Um, I don't want to hang out with Jess until I'm not contagious anymore. So, um, I'm waiting till the end of the week and then we are going to go and look at like job lots or big lots or Ollie's or some type of, you know, discount place and look for a table for me for my printer. And then once that's all good, I can start doing sublimation and these okay so these were three dollars and 57 cents i got these actually like when football season was going on because i was going to make cute little um if you can see their t-shirts but they're for like to make like football jerseys baseball any kind of jersey um but i was going to make football jerseys out of them um but then I decided I could just wait until football season comes around again. Or, I mean, I know around here people buy, we are in Eagles town, but uh, people buy Eagles merchandise all year round. So, um, yeah, if you're wanting like a team jersey or something like that, uh, just let me know. But I thought these would be really neat to make little um, jersey keychains out of. And even if you just want something not even football related on it. Um, I can do that as well, but it comes with, I think, I don't know how many there are. The one, two, there are 20 of these in there and they're wood, sublimation wood. 
So they're pretty durable, pretty sturdy. And then there are 20 keychain rings in there, silver. So that's really nice. I don't know if there's anything. Oh, there's also like, I don't want to open this and like get it all over the place, but I kind of want to show you what's in this part. There's these things, which I believe they just clip together like this. I don't want to clip it because I don't know if it'll unclip, but, um, oh, that one's broken. Okay. Uh, let me show you one that's not broken. So these just clip together and I guess they clip around the hole here to make it um, easier so you don't have to use the uh, the jump rings. But for this one, I'm going to have to use a jump ring. But um, yeah, that's pretty neat. I think there's 20 of those too. That's a really neat set for under four dollars it was 357 for this whole set so that was a great deal then um i got i'll do the molds next since there's only two of them i think yeah so this one i thought was really really cute and this one i'm actually okay so mother's day is i believe in may right kind of around the corner I'm going to make a few like Mother's Day sets with like maybe like a Mother's Day tumbler, um, like a mom tumbler, a mom shirt, and like a mom keychain. So this is a mama bear keychain. And I thought this would be go perfect with those sets. Um, it says mama on it. And then it has like cute little floral kind of stuff going on around here. And then it's just a little mama bear. I thought that was really cute. And that was 79 cents. And then this was $2.98. This is a bangle bracelet. But I thought this would be really neat to put like dried flowers in there or like, um, the foils in there like just something really cute to put like maybe like glow in the dark sand some kind of thing um i don't know i just thought this was there were a lot of possibilities with this one all right next up we have some jump rings these are gold jump rings these were 97 cents I ordered these thinking that these were going to be the thick ones, like the um, silver ones that I have, but I wanted to test them out before I got them in a bunch of sizes. They're not. They are very flimsy. Um, lately, all the time, um, I've been using silver jump ring hardware for all of my um, keychains and anything that I need jump rings for, even if it has gold hardware, like the gold um, keychain part because they are a lot stronger than the gold ones that I have. So I don't know what I'm going to use these ones for, but they are way too thin for what I need them for. So I just got to keep shopping around until I find really thick ones like I did with the, um, silver ones that I got. But unfortunately, um, the listing that I got the silver ones, I don't think they have gold ones. So that's my issue. Um, so I just need to keep shopping around until I find the thicker ones so I can finally use gold hardware, all gold hardware, <laughs> when I do, um, the gold keychain rings. Oh, there's one more mold. It was hidden. So this was 98 cents. Oh, by the way, um, these jump rings... Oh, it doesn't say, but I believe there's like 200 of them. There's quite a bit there. And this is a, I thought it was a keychain mold, but it doesn't look like it's a keychain. There's something on this. Um, 
there's no hole for the keychain. So for these, I'm going to have to drill a hole in them. But this is Belle, Disney character Belle from, uh, sleep, or, oh my goodness. Why did I say Sleeping Beauty? From uh, Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> Oop. But it's half Belle and half like skeleton um, Day of the Dead kind of thing. So I thought that was really neat. They also had Elsa and Anna, and I believe, I don't remember the last one, but um, the, the list thing will be in the description box down below if you want to check these out. But there's something on her nose there. But luckily, it's um, like part of the mold, so it's not really going to affect anything when I pour it. But yeah, I thought that was really cute. Then I got some glow-in-the-dark mica powder. This was $1.19, and this is glow-in-the-dark blue. I also had pink and green, and they work really, really well. So um, I decided to get some blue because I do a lot of blue projects. Then this was uh, $0.57, cents, and it's a set of six, but I think... I only see five of them. One of them must have fallen out somewhere. Um, because the bag was like half open. Oh, here's the last one. They're little containers I thought that I could use for stuff like my jump rings and um my charms and stuff like that. So I'm probably gonna order more and then um put them like maybe in like one of those big pencil case boxes and just have it all together so that when I need stuff it's all like organized into little separate containers so I thought these would be useful then this was 87 cents and I got this because my e6000 glues and stuff sometimes uh Sometimes the hole gets clogged and I need like a little thing to like poke it with to unclog it. So I got one of those and then it also comes with these, five of these and these you can actually like stick in and make it easier to like squeeze it out of the tube. Like if you need to replace, they, they do, the E6000s do come with the, like tips like these, but like if you need to replace it, they come with, um, replacement tips. Then moving on to some glitter. So these were 47 cents and I actually bought these around the time that I did that heart cup with the heart glitter on it. Um, and these are just little hearts and I thought these were so cute. But, of course, they came after the cup was completed. So, like, if I ever want to do that cup again, um, I have um, some more of those hearts. And then these were $0.59. Cents, and these are so cute. These are, like, iridescent pink. Color shifting pink. And they're little pet paws. How cute are those? I thought they were so cute. Then I got a pack of keychain rings. These were $1.75 and there are 40 in here. Um, and I was running low on the silver ones. So I got a pack of 40 silver keychain rings. And for under $2, uh, that was a good deal. I definitely use silver more than gold. So I definitely need to stay stocked up on these. What was in here? Oh, never mind. Don't mind me. Okay, so then these, the rest is beads except for these three things. So this I got was 77 cents. This is a pack of 50. And they're little bags. And I use these to um, put like my keychains, earrings, little, little, little things that I sell on my Poshmark. And then they, you just peel this off and then they seal shut. 
but I thought they were so cute with the little smiley faces and the big eyes on them. But I go through a lot of these, so I like to stay stocked up, and I like different varieties to send with different, like, themed stuff. Then these I got, these were 57 cents. This is a pack of, I don't know how many are in here, but maybe 100, maybe 200, maybe 500. I don't know. There's a lot, though. These are cards card stock and I actually bought these um to make into earring cards because if you guys remember I had that earring punch um that hole punch thing that punches the two little earring holes into cards and it goes like and punches the two holes so I got these for that purpose to make my own little earring cards and then I got these for 89 cents there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of these. And I believe I showed you these in another color. I forget what color it was. But these are just little straws. And these are orange and white striped straws. But for 89 cents, I couldn't pass up that deal. And then again, there's another one of these like straw cleaners in there as well. Now on to the beads. So I got a pack of focal beads. These were $3.14 for a pack of five. And they are Chip from Beauty and the Beast. How cute is that? I love it. And there's also um, on the same listing, Mrs. Potts, which I'm thinking of getting her as well. I just, I love Beauty and the Beast, but I love Chip. He is one of my favorite characters. He's so cute. And then I got um, some of these beads, which unfortunately do not fit on my beaded pens. They are too, the hole is too skinny. But they are these, like, they're really pretty. So I'm going to try to use them for something, maybe a beaded keychain or I don't know. I don't know, but I'm going to try to use them for something. And there are... I think there's 50 of them. They, they were $1.28, but I believe there's either 50 or 30, maybe 40, but there's all different colors. They are just so pretty, and I love how they shine. I love them. Even though I can't use them for anything right now, I still love them. <laughs> then, these were 89 cents. There's only three, but I thought they were so pretty. But they're little um, bees with honey. How cute are those? And they're wooden. They're painted wood. But there's a honey drip at the top and then bees around the outside. But I'm excited to do like a spring beaded pen with these. All right, last two. So this one was 89 cents. Did I say how much these? Oh, yeah, these were 80. Okay. This was 89 cents. This is a pack of, I believe, 30. But they are really cute, multicolored, swirled beads. They have, like, they're not rhinestones, but they're, like, silver, but, like, shiny silver. Like, what do you call it? Swirl. Texture around them. I just thought they were so cute. I don't want to open this though because I don't want them to go everywhere because I don't, um, the bag doesn't close. So I don't really want to open them right now, but look how pretty they are. I just thought they were so pretty. And this last one, these are some of my favorite. I really like these. These are a pack of, I believe, 25, maybe 30, but these are little candies. And these match with those hearts those little hearts that are clear on the outside with the color in the center um that i got from the one dollar zone but these are little candies so they're clear on the outside like the wrapper portion and then they have a color in the center but they're also like iridescent like you can't really see in this lighting but if i show you there's mul they're multicolored too but look, they like, they're iridescent. 
I love that. There we go. You can see the pink one up here. So pretty. But I really like those. And that is everything. That was the last thing. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm excited to, uh, there's a lot of beads in this one. I'm excited to do some pens. I'm excited um, to finally get started with my sublimation and all that good stuff. And I will let you guys know once my printer um, and my oven are up and running so that I can start doing the sublimation stuff. But that is everything for today. And like I said at the beginning of the video, if you're interested in purchasing anything that you have seen um, in this video, all the links will be in the description box down below, as well as if you have not signed up for Timu yet and you would like to, there is also a link that you can click on, sign up, and get a $100 coupon bundle. And also, I will also put my Poshmark link in the description box down below in case there's anything on my shop that you would like to purchase as well. And also, feel free to reach out to me through email or Instagram. They're both in the, descri in the description box as well. Um, reach out to me if you would like any custom orders done. I am more than happy to do custom orders. Um, yeah, just send me an email or send me a message on Instagram. And we'll talk details, prices, whatnot, all that good stuff. But that is everything for today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. Thank you for watching and have an awesome day. Bye!